few services, queue washers, eBay and YouTube like normal. What I'm showing you is how to set up, how to use correctly the Yamaha L100. So this machine is delivering 15 litres at 200 bar. Electric start machine. So what I've simply got first of all <coughs> is the push button switch. If you push that, it'll try and start. That's all you've got to do is press the button. Now, on this side here, you will see you've got the fuel level. As it's facing at the moment, that is on, the fuel is on. If you turn it to its side, you've then turn the fuel off. Make sure the fuel is on. Turn it off when you finish off using the machine. Got the torques on the air here on the system itself, so to stop it, we turn it to this position. And obviously to rev the machine up, you push the throttle over. So that is revving it up to full revs. When you finish off with the machine, this ball valve here should be in this position every time so it takes all the strain off the system, also for frost protection. So when you finish off using it, always make sure this ball valve here is in that position. Once you've primed the machine up and it's up and running, and the water's coming out of there at full pelt, you close it and run the machine. But as soon as you stop that machine, every time you get into a routine of opening that ball valve. This point here, you've got your high pressure outlet. We've then on this side here, we've got the inlet side. Now, the quick releases, two different sorts, that's the water inlet, and then you've got the dump return. You've got the two here, the smaller one is the dump, the bigger one is the water inlet. Now, on a regular occasion, you need to be checking this tub filter going around, making sure it's not getting damaged or anything else like that. If that ever gets damaged, we've got a secondary precautionary filter inside there. And just underneath here, there's a cap, and inside there is a filter for protection. If the machine is not being used for a long period, it isn't a bad idea just to simply disconnect the cable. Now, you can unscrew there off the 13mm. We've made this cable so you can actually pull this cable and you can pull it over so you're then connecting the uh, live off the system itself, putting it back on. So on this nut, this is a cable, it will pull up. As you can see there, it's moving. And like I say, that's if it's not being used, so it protects the battery, it doesn't drain the battery at any stage. Belt drive system is this. What you need to be doing on a regular occasion, now if you look there, you'll see that is the oil level. You need to check that on a regular occasion as well. So that's the oil level for the system. You've got the oil level for the, the engine itself at that side. Now this is diesel. It's so diesel engine oil in this system. You've also got this point here to, on that side. This is the place where you check it at. So if we unscrew that, that's your oil level inside there. Check that on a regular occasion as well, probably once a week, depending. Now, always make certain that when you're using this, the exhaust gases, so this is the exhaust. You do get this, so you can put this muffler on if you wanted to, so it directs it. Always make sure you're directing it away from the air filter and there's no... So there's your air filter, you don't want it blowing back into there. So if the wind's blowing, yeah, and that's the air filter. That's just unscrews, and you can keep an eye on that and check that fairly simple and regular. Fuel, diesel, white diesel or red diesel. Don't decide to take the filter out that's in there to fill it. Might take that a little bit longer, but also something else to be kept clean. Just simply take it out on a regular occasion and clean it through. And that's inside there, yeah and that's for your diesel itself. What we're going to do is show you the machine itself running with the accessories and everything else. So like I say, uh, on that side of it, this is on the machine itself and this is how to, things to check and so on, on the machine itself. You have got the pull start, but if you're going to pull start at any stage the battery, you need to make sure that you pull this over and pull it at that point there and release it. So that pulls and release it if you're having to go and start pull starting the system itself on the pulley cord here. Not the easiest way of working. Try to make sure you keep your battery in good in good order. So what we're going to do is show this machine. We're going to get it up and running. Now on this system here, we've got screw fittings coming out of the machine itself. The way we build the machine, where we set the machine up, it doesn't matter if the gun's leaking too much. There's no problem there. They've got no pressure in the high pressure rows like normal, like we always build our machines and set the machines up. Quick release, as you can see, you've got the thinner pipe going to the dump, and you've got the thicker three-quarter pipe going to the inlet. What we're going to do is set this machine up and show it how it works and so on with the nozzles and what to do and what not to do as you're using the machine. So now you're going to struggle to hear me when we're running the machine. So what we do first of all is like I just said before, make sure this valve is open, make sure the fuel is on 
and then the machine itself can be pressed up and started and primed. What you're going to get is water coming out of here as you start it. So you'll see, get all the air out of the system, the air's out, so now we can close this valve. We've then got the nozzles for the end of the lamps. Always remember that when you're using the machine, depending on what you're doing, don't get too close when you're doing the job. Start off far enough away and go into the job, because otherwise you can damage surfaces. So that's a normal nozzle. Okay. What we'll do now is switch over to the Vario, the 4 in 1, and show you how that works. This is the Vario 4 in 1 nozzle. On the actual nozzle itself, you will see the instructions on the system there. So it pushes forwards, it then pushes back. You can then turn the angle by turning it to change the angle. So all I'm going to show you how it works. Same again, make sure you're far enough away. So I'm high pressure at the moment. And then we're changing the spray pattern. You can then push it forwards and we're then down onto rinse and that's the vario pull it backwards, you're back on high pressure and what we demonstrate next is the turbo nozzle so the turbo nozzle same again, make sure you're far enough away and go into the job. Make sure you don't get any close to anybody or anything else like that. One thing that I have seen happen before today is people, when they let go of the trigger, what you don't do, is rest it on your foot. Yeah, like that. I have seen people blow a hole in the wallet. Don't do that. And off we go. Turbo nozzle. When we come to stop the machine, what we simply do And as soon as we've stopped it we then open the valve. Take all the strain from the system. Thank you very much, Q services, Q washers, eBay and YouTube.